Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another episode of Magic the Gathering Arena. I'm Andy, your host with the most, and today we're gonna do uh, we're gonna make an attempt to rank up in standard. Um, right now, uh, I think I'm gonna try using this deck I've been toying with, Mono White, Dog Tribal, with uh, Hushbringers in there. We've got Fight as One, God's Willing, Selfless Savior. Alpine Watchdog, Feet of Resistance, Hushbringer, Pack Leader, Banishing Light, Heraldic Banner, Leyline of Sanctity, Shatter the Sky, the Wanderer, Bane Slayer Angel, and Rambunctious Mutt. And a little Animal Sanctuary for fun. Uh, so this is what we're going to go with. Uh, we can go to Profile. Yeah, we'll say it right now. Uh, I'm currently Platinum Tier 4, so let's see if we can make any progress on that. Whew, it is a warm one here, let me tell you. How are you guys doing? What's the weather like where you're at? Get in the comments, let me know. Chetty? Guachetti? Alright, what do we got here? Not fantastic, but we'll give it a shot. I've been toying with this deck a little bit. I'm not sure that I like where it's at now. It's kind of a... It's the spur of the moment. Turn down the watchdog. Okay. So he looks like he's black, white, life gain. Not super creative, but. Sure, gain your life. Resolve. Okay, gaining a bunch of life right off the bat. You're gonna swing in. He does. Pass the blockers. Fight is one. Ooh, very nice. Okay. So we still block. But he's indestructible. Can't really play much. Get down the blocker. Swing for five. Could use some removal. Wanderer will do good. Uh, nope. Alright, so we'll go with the savior. And we are indestructible. Or prevent that damage. Uh, we're good. Moving on. Thanks. What have you got? What have you got? Board wipe, maybe? No, nothing. Okay. Just keep throwing down our doggos all day long. and wide shocks himself
tribunal. Okay. So, indestructible doesn't help. There goes pack leader. Hmm. So, protection from would work better here. We'll have to think about that in the future. Uh, is there anything I can do here? I don't think so. we get a couple more lands we can rambunctious mutt and get rid of the tribunal there's one of them we can play the wanderer I speak softly, but I carry a big sword. get rid of his creature don't worry i'll be quick swing in heavy pass the turn Linden. And I think that's game. Okay. Let's give it another shot. See if we can maybe get two wins in a row. What have we got going on here? There we go. So we've got a Hushbringer, Pack Leader. I can, I think I can work with this. Awesome. So I really do like the double pack leader combo. If if I can keep him on the board. Hmm. Mill. Okay. What should we go for here? Go for the Hushbringer, maybe? I know the Hushbringer probably doesn't fit. I just really enjoy the mechanics of it. It shuts down a lot of things that are going on right now. So what can we do? What can we do? We can get rid of, of a petitioner. We can throw down a pack leader, which I think is probably the right way to go. Swing in. I think my cat is upset I'm playing a dog deck. Be very nice, Hushbringer always already doing its job. Okay. I have hexproof now. Target player mills a card. That seems like that could be pretty useful. Hmm. How quick? Excuse me, I just had a mosquito attack. So what do I do here? What's the best choice? I think... I can do... I'm going to hold off on Leyline. I might, I might regret this. Um... We'll swing in. Okay, he'll block with the lynx. Cats and dogs. Hmm. 
Hmm. And I could throw a 1-1. One, one, get a little extra life, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's get rid of the Lynx and turn. Hopefully he doesn't hit me with big with something here. So he could field of ruin me. I don't think that helps him much. I wouldn't be able to hit my ley line unless I got another land. Let's see what he does with it. Yeah, we'll just showcase back leader here again while we wait. Very cool card. Okay, he's dropping in a Thassa. Allows him to bounce, but our enter the battlefield Hushbringer effect should keep those. Okay, another fight is won. Well, we could Blinding Light, Thassa, which might be helpful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say we go in swinging. This should be a nice solid seven hit I'm feeling a little nervous I'm gonna go with the ley line there we go shut down with the Hushbringer Got himself an advisor. Let's swing with Thassa, that'll hurt. Interesting. Doesn't swing in with Thassa. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so now we've got a couple of options here. Um, I'm thinking we go Wanderer. There are two kinds of mages. Ex Exile Thassa. Uh, hmm, now Hushbringer. We probably don't want to swing in with Hushbringer. We don't have our... I probably should have saved a fight as one. We'll swing in with both these guys, though. Going pretty good. Got him down to five. Let's see if we can finish the game out. All right, so he's got his petitioners. I don't think he can tap that one yet because of the summoning sickness. So I should be able to Banishing Light. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see if he can. It's still, we've got plenty of cards. Mill doesn't really hurt us right now. go with a good game he might have it but I think I think we're we're in good shape here okay so we can do that oh he's milling himself interesting maybe he's got a, uh, a Jason there going for a self mill win that could be interesting okay that's fine Okay, we got a land action. Now we banishing light. One of his petitioners. And I say we Oh, we've got him. We've definitely got him. Okay. He might have some sort of uh 
counter target spell. That's fine. But yeah, that's that. Good game. All right. 2 and 0. Let's keep it rolling. How's everybody doing? Getting to Mythic? Any luck? Let's see. This looks looks like I could keep this. It's a little early for the, the Bane Slayer Angel. The only... Well, I suppose I have Hushbringer too. So these are my only two non-dog creatures. But I, I really like the mechanics on both of them. Okay. Let's start off with the little puppy. Little selfless savior. Okay. Next. Say, what do you think? Roll into the Hushbringer for the end of the battlefield mechanics? Or start getting a vigilance for pounding? I'm gonna go with the dog. It might be a bad move. We'll find out what we're running against. Ping in. Boop. Okay, tap land. My turn. Got the Hushbringer in. Swing in with both. Okay. And turn. So we hold up some indestructible action. Bloodthirsty aerialist. Okay. Yeah. Seems like we go for the banishing light here. Now I could put Heliod in this deck, being mono white, might be interesting. I'm not really running Life Link, but the 1-1 the counters that he puts on are pretty impressive, and then we're not too too far off from getting the devotion. I don't know, it's something to think about. <laughs> Speak of the devil. And he shall appear. One one, okay. Now, if we can get the pack leader, okay, this helps too. This gives us uh, protection. So we swing in with everything. Hmm. Now. Guess we just hold up our protection still. We've got a couple of different ones we can do, so... Board wipe, maybe? Okay, so... We can't really do anything about that. Right? Target creature, target creature, target creature, okay. Aerialist comes back on board. Let's just swing in. Oh, make sure these are both. Yep. Pass the blockers. Block that one. Um. One one counter. Let's go with the indestructible here oops my bad got a block first now the one one counter might have been better would have buffed him up for next round he does get the lifelink so 
Mm, yeah, protection definitely would have been better there to prevent the lifelink. Okay, you live, you learn. Four, five. Oh, there we go, my beauty. So we put him down. Swing in with my puppy dogs. Should block, and then I'll take two. Yep. Well, because of my beautiful pack leader. My Alpine Watchdog should survive. Oh, because he didn't attack. Mm hmm. My bad. Okay. Well, that hurts. I could have sacked that guy, too. Well, we still got protection for. Yep. Oops. Yeah, that was a bad play on my part. A couple bad plays so far this round. The deck seems to work fairly well. Yep, a little more lifelink. Black, white lifelink. How original. Is that what we played the, in the entire time so far? I'll have to go back and look. Mm. I'm okay with taking that. That li that life link hurts. Okay, so not a whole lot of options here. Uh, we can hold that back, give it protection. We'll swing in with both the dogs. Okay, gonna let that go through. My hope for peace is gone. Okay, more life gain. Pass the blockers. Throw on the resistance. Protection from black. Okay. My turn. Land. Now. What do we do here? I think... We go all in. the attack and I think we go for it because he's gonna he's gonna get some killer lifelink next time and let's just hope he doesn't have a whole bunch of creatures ooh that's gonna be rough for me alright um throw that up turn okay hush bringer token which is oven that's not good yep so somebody's getting all right somebody's getting through
See, yeah, I guess that's just because it's a. Uh, it's not actually targeting it. Okay, there we go. Maybe this will help. Swing in while we can. Okay, what are we gonna draw? Are we gonna get anything that's helpful? Yep, Murdus Rider. I think he's got it though. He's got enough life gain. Yeah, I just couldn't couldn't aggro him fast enough. I think that's where run into problems with mid range. That you know the life link is he gained a, a ton of life. But we'll let it play out. I like letting people get their their decks to to do what they want. I mean, granted. This is white black life gain, so I'm not particularly um, impressed. So, what have we got? Four, seven, ten coming through. Life link. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the other Shatters the Skies could be helpful. I mean, I think with Soren out there, he can return. Yeah, he can get any creatures back, so. Vampirism is a useful trait. Oh, yeah, because he can't do it to me. That's funny. Huge life gain boost. Boop. 22 again. Oh. Yeah, it's got to be a shadow of the skies here or nothing, I think. The mutt. Not going to do it, I think, because the end of the battlefield effect. The downside of Hushbringer and the mutt. We'll, uh, we'll concede this one. Okay. Two and one. You know. I definitely made some bad plays there. For sure. I certainly forgot that your dogs don't get protection if your pack leader isn't attacking, which is a definite downfall. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can at least go three and one. Interesting. We'll see how this goes. Gradua, Gradua, Gradua. It does seem like I get put up against fairly high rank. Down to four. Interesting. I must have a really good deck. Mono red. Yep. You can go down to four if you're playing mono red. Okay. We swing in here. Guess he'll come through with a shock. Ooh, cavalcade. Mm, okay. I think I took out the Halo. The Halo is really good for getting rid of Cavalcade. Let's see. Throw down another land. Swing in with both. Shouldn't do anything else. Uh... Let's go another Hushbringer and we'll hold up the God's Willing. Another Cavalcade. Yeah, see that? 
That ruined Halo right now, I think would have been really nice. Something about Cavalcade. Okay, another land draw, excellent. Um, we'll drop in our Doggo. Swing in with everything. Should all go through. Okay. This is where, this is where it's gonna hurt. Yep. You know, unblockable ginger brute. Woo! So let's see. I'll go God's willing. Protection from red. Don't really need that other land, so I mean we will, but we don't right now. This is gonna hurt. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Got anything else to play? Okay, okay. Throw down. Good old watchdog. Swing in with everything. Okay. We're still holding up our uh, her protection from cavalcade. Nice. You can't swing without losing, yeah. Okay. Another land. I suppose we'll hold that up for now. Swing in with everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can put a one one counter on them. Gain a little extra life. I think we hold up we hold it up. Throw down the land too, why not? Just in case we get the Bane Slayer Angel. Or alright, there we go. Now to be fair, he did mulligan down, but it's also mono red, so I have zero sympathy. Okay, three and one. Do we go for it? I think that was a quick one. I think we've got we've got time enough for one more, so let's maybe give it one more throw. See if we can go four and one. I would be I would be pleased with that. Okay. Malik. No one drops. I can play to shatter the skies. Probably what I'll do, especially if I draw a land on my next turn. Okay, yeah, so we'll hold up. Mm, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. But that's what we gotta do. So he should be should be on to me about creatures. No? Okay. Mmm, that is nice. That is like perfectly perfectly set up. So my, my board wipe is gonna is going to hurt me hard. But Woo! Was that game? Did that did I just kill myself? Oh pretty close. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, so that's a great anti-board wipe setup. And then he gets them all back. Very nice. That was a fast win. I, I, I like that. Again, it's, you know, a fairly cheesy setup, but there isn't a whole lot you can do against that. Alright, so if we bring out 
Let me play this here. Does it have any artifacts or enchantments? No real enter the battlefield effects. We can get some blockers out. But I definitely don't want to kill. And it's got death touch. Mmm. Interesting. And I have five mana. So. Let's go. Both of these guys. That at least I can kill the celebrant. I don't mind taking the one damage. Yep, another scorpion. I mean, it's a, it's a great, great concept. Very simple, cheap cards. I can't do anything about that. Swinging in for two. some serious lifelink and I don't have it so what do we do here we go to the savior I mean this is over um, basically just figuring out how I want to end it we will leave it at that I guess yeah, that was that was a great. I didn't have any answer for that because I was building to the board wipe and they were they were perfectly set up, perfectly set up. But I'm sure had I known more about this deck, yeah, there he goes. Very nice. Very cool deck. I like it. It's very cheesy. All right. Three and two. Three and two? Yeah, three and two. Alright, well, that was a good run. Um, you know, I, I played pretty well, or, nah, eh, okay. Uh, made some mistakes, but had some bad matchups as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, please check out some of the other uh, videos we have on our channel. Uh, there's some pretty exciting 7 Days to Die stuff on there. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys, and I'll see you around.